says calculate. the pressure exerted by 0 0.600 moles of nitrogen gas in a 2.0 liter vessel at 35 degrees Celsius using A, the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, and B, the Van der Waals equation. The Van der Waals equation was that adjusted one, the P minus A over N over V squared, that one. The Van der Waals equation. So we want to compare them to see what we're, uh, what we're looking at, to see how closely actually it, it you know, ideal behavior and non-ideal behavior is for this particular situation. Well, 35 degrees Celsius, that's a pretty high temperature in terms of Kelvin. Uh, Two liters volume, it's a reasonable volume, and it is uh, 0 0.60 moles. Well, let's just sort of see what happens. Okay, so A, PV equals NRT. We rearrange, we get NRT over V, and we just plug the values in. We get 0 0.600 is our number of moles. R is 0 0.08206, and remember, when you're dealing with the ideal gas law, you have to use the 0 0.08206 for R. When you're dealing with um, issues of joules and things like that, root mean square speed, uh, that's when you have to use the uh, 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin. The problem itself, if you just stop and take a look at what units you want, they'll tell you which R you're actually going to use. And then 308 Kelvin should be for uh, 35 degrees Celsius. And our volume is... 2.0 liters, we end up with 7.58 atmospheres. So that's pretty high pressure. Okay, now let's use pressure plus A times, uh, let me write it as N squared over V squared. Uh, no, you know what, I'm just going to leave it as N over V squared. Uh, notice this N over V, by the way, it's the number of moles over a volume, it's a concentration. So the pressure is actually contingent on the concentration, which makes sense. It, it has to do with the, the more molecules you have, the more heavily concentrated uh, in a given volume, you know, the pressure is going to increase. So just recognize that. That's why I didn't do N squared over V squared. Left it that way so you could see that it is a concentration term. And V minus NB equals NRT. Okay. And then when we rearrange, we get P equals NRT um, divided by V minus NB minus A times N over V squared. Now, the pressure adjustment constant, Van der Waals constant for nitrogen gas, is 1.39, uh, and B, the units are irrelevant. You can certainly look up the units if you want. They're not altogether important. N2 is equal to uh, the B, the volume adjustment parameter, is 0 0.0391. When we put all of these values in here, we end up with 7.67 for this first term, and we end up with 0 0.1251 for this second term, which gives us a total pressure of 7.56 atmospheres. So notice, under using the ideal gas law, we have 7.58 atmospheres. Using the real gas behavior, we have 7.56 atmospheres. 7.56 and 7.58 are virtually the same. So under these conditions, we are welcome to go ahead and use the ideal gas law, which just by looking at this, 35 degrees Celsius, it's a pretty high temperature, two liters, you're, you know, it's, it's, it's a fair amount of, it's a pretty big volume actually for, you know, 0.6 moles of gas. So you can pretty much say to yourself, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use the ideal gas law. I don't want to use the Van der Waals equation. It's not important. And this confirms that that's the case. If the conditions were different, you might get a lot of deviation.